Christmas University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight, one of Cambridge's older colleges plays one of Oxford's newer ones. But instead of eager, fresh-faced students, they're being represented by some rather more apprehensive alumni. With four heats played of this short seasonal series, Edinburgh are the only team who've guaranteed their spot in the semis, but a score of 135 will see tonight's winners through alongside them. Now, playing on behalf of Corpus Christi College, Cambridge, is firstly a business person awarded an OBE in 2017 for services to entrepreneurship and innovation. She's the co-founder of First Capital, an international investment bank that serves high-growth technology companies and has been a board member of agencies including British Patient Capital and Innovate UK. On her left is an author who won a Somerset Maugham Award for her novel White is for Witching and the Pen Open Book Award for her short story collection, What is Not Yours is Not Yours. She's also been a judge for the Man Booker International Prize and their captain has been literary editor of The Observer and editor-in-chief of Faber and Faber, where he launched the careers of writers including Kazuo Ishiguro, Paul Auster and Peter Carey. His own writing includes several novels, a major study of the history of the English language and a new book entitled Shakespearean. Their final player is an academic and barrister specialising in international law. He's represented Mauritius in disputes over the Chagos archipelago and the Philippines regarding maritime jurisdiction in the South China Sea. He's also an author whose books include Lawless World, which examined the legality of the 2003 Iraq War, and East West Street, which won the 2016 Bailey Gifford Prize for nonfiction. Let's meet the Corpus team in their own words. I'm Hazel Moore. I graduated in 1990 from Corpus with a degree in Natural Sciences, and I now work in finance. My name's Helen Oyemi. I graduated from Corpus in 2006 with a Social and Political Sciences degree, and I write novels. And their captain? I'm Robert McCrum. I graduated in 1975 in Modern History, and I'm now a freelance writer. I'm Philippe Sands. I left Corpus Christi in 1983, and I'm a lawyer and a writer. Their opponents tonight are all alumni of St Anne's College, Oxford, and they include, firstly, a historian and biographer of figures ranging from Elizabeth I to Beatrix Potter and Vita Sackville-West. Her latest book is called The Tudors in Love, and she's a frequent contributor to television news and documentaries. Next to her is a structural engineer whose notable projects include designing the foundations and the spire of the Shard at the age of just 23. She's an award-winning advocate for women in STEM and has published two books called Built and How Was That Built, which explore the construction methods and materials science behind great works of engineering. Their captain is a comedian and broadcaster who won the 2017 Edinburgh Comedy Award for his show, The Darkness of Robins. His radio and podcast partnership with Ellis James has garnered him a raft of further accolades and has been particularly commended for its approach to mental health, leading to partnerships with charities including Mind and Calm. Their final player began his career in sports reporting before moving to cover business, first for the BBC and then for Sky News. As Sky's business correspondent, he broke multiple exclusives on the fallout from the financial crisis and preparations for a no-deal Brexit before taking up his current role in 2019. Let's meet this year's St Anne's team. Hello, I'm Sarah Gristwood. I graduated in English in the 80s, started out writing newspaper articles about famous live people. I now write books about famous dead ones. Hi, I'm Roma Agrawal. I graduated from St Anne's College in 2004 with a degree in physics. I'm an engineer and have somehow ended up writing books as well. And this is their captain. 
Hi, I'm John Robbins. I also graduated in 2004 with a degree in English and I'm now a comedian and broadcaster. Hello, I'm Adam Parsons. I graduated from St Anne's in 1991 with a degree in modern history and I'm now the Europe correspondent for Sky News. OK, let's get on with it then. Here's your first starter for ten. Subtitled Surviving America in the 21st Century, what book by Jessica Bruder was adapted as a 2020 film that won multiple awards at the Oscars ceremony, including Best Film and Best Director for Chloe Zhao? St Anne's Robbins, Nomadland. Yes. <laughs> you get ten points. Your bonuses now are on vegetables of the parsley family. Identify each plant from its description. Funiculum vulgari, a perennial herb whose bulb-like stem base and blanched shoots are eaten as a vegetable, its seeds have an aroma and taste similar to anise and are used as a spice. It has to be fennel. It has fennel. to be fennel. Yeah. Yeah. Fennel. Fennel is correct. Apium graviolens, which is cooked as a vegetable or in stocks and soups. It's also served raw with dips or in salads. Celery? Yes. Celery is a good show. It... It's the best shot I can. Some salads. I would go celery. Celery. Celery is correct. Pastinaca sativa, cultivated for its fleshy off-white root, which is not damaged by freezing of soil. The root is sweet and usually served cooked. Is that parsnip? parsnip? I think it has to parsnip. be parsnip. Parsnip. Parsnip is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what short adjective links all of the following titles? Joseph Kesselring's 1939 play about two seemingly sweet sisters and the murders they commit. Cormac McCarthy's 2005 novel about a drug deal that goes wrong and Ernest Hemingway's short novel of 1952 about a Cuban fisherman. St Anne's Parsons. Long. No. Anyone want to buzz from Corpus? Corpus Christi McCrum. Old. Old is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on a winter celebration. Drawing on the Southern African first fruit celebrations, what annual holiday is celebrated by many African Americans from December the 26th to January the 1st? Kwanzaa. 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 Kwanzaa is correct. The red, black, and green Pan African flag used during Kwanzaa was created by which Jamaican black nationalist leader who founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association in 1914? I want to say Marcus Garvey, but I think that might be wrong. Marcus Garvey? Marcus Garvey? Correct. Oh. The Kwanzaa greeting Habari Gani, meaning what is the news, comes from which African language? Uh. Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Nigeria. Um, shall we just try Kenyan? Well, Swahili. 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 Uh, yeah. Swahili. Swahili is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Meanings of what seven-letter word include a substance formed in chemical reaction, the result when numbers are multiplied, a person who's been shaped by a particular... Sometimes Parsons. Product. Product is correct. <laughs> Right, these bonuses are on the physics of roller coasters. At the crest of the steep hill at the start of a roller coaster, what type of energy is converted into kinetic energy as the roller coaster moves down the hill? Potential energy. Yeah. Potential. Potential, gravitational potential, yes. Called clothoid loops, what shape are the inverted vertical loops in roller coasters? These components were modified following the discovery that perfect circles risk people losing consciousness from excessive G-force exposure? I would guess parabola. Parabola. No, they're inverted teardrop shape. In addition to friction at the wheels, what other form of friction slows a roller coaster down before the brakes are applied? Yeah, it's a drag, drag friction. Drag friction. Yes, wind resistance, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a star chart showing the night sky as it might have been seen above this studio in Salford on New Year's Day 2020. 
For ten points, please name the constellation highlighted. St. Anne's Robins, Cancer. No. Corpus Christi Moor. The Great Bear. No, it's Orion. So we're going to take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this starter question. Who was the author of the 1912 collection of seasonal short stories entitled A Christmas Garland? They parodied the styles of 17 notable authors, including Henry James and Thomas Hardy. The writer's only novel, published the previous year, was subtitled An Oxford Love Story. Corpus Christi McCrum. Max Beerbohm. Max Beerbohm is correct. <laughs> so you get the picture bonuses. The constellation everyone failed to identify was Orion. One of six constellations containing notably bright stars that form the asterism called the Winter Hexagon, prominent in the sky between December and March. For your picture bonuses, I simply want you to identify three more of these constellations. Firstly... Any ideas? Let's try the Pleiades. 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 No, that's Gemini. And mm. secondly... I'd go with Aquarius, but... Aquarius. Any, any, other, any, other, any others? Mm, no. Aquarius? No, it's Taurus. And finally... Try the Great Bear. <laughs> We're back to the Great Bear. No, that's Kenneth Major. Ten points for this. In the English names of geographical features, what short word follows Denmark, Polk, Cook, Menai and Bering? Corpus Christi Moore. Straits. Straight is correct, yes. <laughs> You're going to say the bonus is on the actor. Helen McCrory, who died in 2021. In the films The Queen and The Special Relationship, McCrory played which barrister with Michael Should Sheen as her politician husband? Should we play? Cherie Blair. 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 Correct. Which character did McCrory portray in the last three Harry Potter films? She was the mother of Narcissa Draco Malfoy. and the sister of Bellatrix Lestrange. I need her given name and surname. Narcissa Malfoy. Narcissa Malfoy. That's correct. In recent times, McCrory was perhaps best known for playing which character in the BBC crime drama Peaky Blinders, set in Birmingham after the First World War? No idea. We didn't know. It was Aunt Polly or Polly Gray. Ten points for this. The scorer of the winning goal in the 1974 FIFA World Cup final at his home ground in Munich, which leading goal scorer died aged 75 in August 2021? Sometimes Parsons, Gerd Muller. Gerd Muller is correct. <laughs> You get a set of bonuses this time on Disney princesses. Linked with Princess Aurora, what name is sometimes given to the rare neurological Klein Levin syndrome, characterized by cognitive or mood changes with a persistent episodic hypersomnia? I think it's something to do with Sleeping Beauty, isn't it? I think. Should we say Sleeping Beauty Klein. syndrome? Is that what it is? we're looking for, or just Sleeping Beauty? That would be my, my best guess. Uh, Sleeping Beauty. Correct. Which Disney princess shares her name with the common leaf vegetable Valerianella locusta, also known as lamb's lettuce? In the Brothers Grimm version, this was a plant in the neighbouring sorceress's garden. I mean, leafy vegetable... What, what names can we come up with? That... Snow White? No. Pr princesses called after vegetables. I'm okay. not, <laughs> not too many of them. We'll go Snow White. It's Rapunzel. In German, Aschenputtel is the name of which title figure of a Brothers Grimm story, later also a Disney princess? Aschenputtel. Which German-based Disney well, little, films did we have? No, Little Red Riding Hood's not a princess, is she? Should we go Snow White again? Why not? Try it. I don't know. Mm. Uh, Snow White. No, it's Cinderella. Oh. Ten points for this. In the UK, what year ending in a zero saw all of the following? The completion of the Stockport Viaduct in North West England, the birth of Thomas Hardy, 
the introduction of the uniform penny post and the marriage of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. St Anne's Robins, 1860. No, anyone want to buy some Corpus? Corpus Christi Sands. 1840. 1840 is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses, Corpus, are on alkaline earth metals, as represented by the illustrations of Murray Robertson on the website of the Royal Society of Chemistry. Firstly, which alkaline earth metal has an image inspired by chlorophyll, the molecule that enables green plants to photosynthesize? Yeah. Image. Magnesium. Magnesium. Magnesium is correct. The image for what element is a highly abstracted metallic mushroom cloud, alluding to the presence of this element in nuclear fallout? Cesium. Cesium. No, it's strontium. What element is illustrated by an image representing its former highly toxic use in luminous paint on clock and watch dials? Beryllium. Beryllium. Is that what? Oh, it's just repeating to see if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure. How strong is. Come on. Go yeah, for it. Beryllium. 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 No, it's radium. With the scores on 70 and 60, we're going to take a music round. You're going to hear a musical setting of a poem. For 10 points, please name both the poet and the composer. Corpus Christi Moore. Charles Wellesley and Mendelssohn. No. Anyone like to bust from St Anne's? St Anne's Robbins, uh, Pope and Britain. No, it isn't. It's Christina Rossetti and Gustav Holst. So we follow on with the music bonuses in a moment or two, but first of all, someone has to get this starter question right. Simple in its design, the flag of which US state bears a circular red letter C filled with a golden disc. In 2014, it became the first to permit the sale of marijuana. For oh, Miss Christie use. Sands. California. No, you lose five points. Anyone like to bust from St. Anne's? St. Anne's Parsons. Colorado. Colorado is correct. <laughs> so you get the music bonuses. We follow on from Gustav Holt's setting of Christina Rossetti's A Christmas Carol, or In the Bleak Midwinter. For your music bonuses, you'll hear three more classical settings of winter poetry. In each case, I simply need the name of the composer. First, this English composer, who here sets a poem by Thomas Hardy. What the English composers? Well, Britain, Elgar. Elgar. Paul Williams. Paul Williams. Williams, yeah. So I guess what it's going to be one of the things, isn't it? Vaughan Williams. There it is Benjamin Britten. Winter words eight before life and after. Secondly, this French composer who here sets a poem by Paul Verlaine. Composers. Any come to mind? Bizet. You what? Bizet or Sibelius? Let's go uh, Bizet. No, that's Foray. It's his setting of La Bonne Chanson. And finally, this Austrian composer who here sets a poem by Wilhelm Müller. A Strauss. But then again, Bjorn Holst Mickey isn't Mel. Austrian, is he? Who? Holst isn't Austrian. Don't know. Look, we're gonna go Strauss. No, that was Schubert. Oh. Right, ten points for this. Who is the author of the 1936 paper entitled On Computable Numbers with an Application to the Entz Scheidung's Problem 
relating to the question of decidability. Uh, St. Anne's Ugruwal. Alan Turing. Alan Turing is correct. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on creative works. In each case, identify the work from the description. All three titles begin with the same two words. First published in 1902, a novella by Joseph Conrad that examines the horrors of European colonialism. It inspired Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now. That's Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness is correct. Secondly, a mosaic set into the Royal Mile in Edinburgh. It marks the position of a 15th century toll booth and gives its name to a novel by Sir Walter Scott I think. and to a leading Scottish football club. And Heart of Midlothian. Midlothian. Yeah, the Heart of Midlothian. Heart of Midlothian is correct. Finally, set in 18th century Bavaria, a 1976 film directed by Werner Herzog in which almost all the actors performed while under hypnosis. Is that Heart of the Matter? I don't know. Go for it. Oh, no, I can't think of it. Heart of the Matter. No, it's Heart of Glass. <sighs> Ten points for this. What two words begin phrases with these meanings? The difference in value between a country's imports and exports, ecological equilibrium and a state of geopolitical stability because two nations are of roughly equal strength. Corpus Christi Moore. Balance of. Balance of is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on an 18th century conflict. The conflict known in North America as the French and Indian War was mostly coincident with which European conflict, ongoing when George III acceded to the throne? Seven Years' War. Seven Years' War. Seven Years' War. Correct. The Seven Years' War arose when the Habsburgs attempted to regain Silesia, seized from them by which ruler during the War of the Austrian Succession? Is it the Russians? Is it the Russians? No, I think it's the Austrian. Can we have it again? No. <laughs> it was Frederick the Great. In late 1759, British naval superiority was established for the remainder of the war when Edward Hawke defeated the French at which bay in Brittany? Quiberon Bay. Quiberon Bay. Bay is correct, yes. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starts, you'll see a still from a television Christmas special. Ten points if you can name the series. St. Anne's Robbins. Blackadder. Blackadder is correct. <laughs> the 1988 Blackadder Christmas special inverted the plot of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. For your bonuses, you're going to need to identify Three more British series with Christmas Carol inspired specials. First, this sitcom. Oh, that's the William Shakespeare one, isn't up, it? Upstart Crow. Yeah. Yes. Upstart Crow. Well done. Secondly, the series of films that spawned this special. That's carry, carry On, on isn't it? Uh, the Carry On films. Carry On is correct. And finally, this TV series. Oh, is that Doctor Who? Is that Doctor, Doctor Who? Who? Yeah, that's Doctor Who. Talent. Doctor Who is correct. Ten points for this. Psychoanalysis, The Impossible Profession and The Journalist and the Murderer are books by which US writer who died in 2021? Corpus Christi McCrum. Janet Malcolm. Janet Malcolm is correct. You get these set of bonuses. They're on Latin American dictators. In each case, name the country ruled by the following. Firstly, Manuel Noriega, convicted of numerous crimes after his overthrow by US forces in Panama. 1989. Panama. Panama. Panama is correct. Rafael Trujillo, trained by the US military during their occupation of his country. He was ruler from 1930 until his assassination in 1961. Guatemala. No, it was the Dominican Republic. Members, finally, of the Somoza family ruled which country from 1937 yeah. to 1979? Nicaragua. 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 Nicaragua is correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Besieged ten times between 1309 and 1506, which strategic fortress underwent a 14th or Great Siege during the American War of Independence? In 1805, the body of Lord Nelson was briefly taken there after the Battle at Trafalgar. Corpus Christi Macron. Gibraltar. 
Gibraltar is correct. These bonuses are on words that end with the letter H-A, for example, piranha. In each case, identify the word from the definition. Firstly, a feature used in landscape gardening designed to keep livestock out of a garden or park without interrupting the view. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. From the Greek for hidden things, works, usually religious, that lie outside an accepted canon. Come on. Apocrypha? Apocrypha. Apocrypha is correct. Finally, a country house or villa in Russia. Dacha. Dacha is correct. We're going to take another start of question. Which European country had a female head of state for the whole of the 20th century, this position being held consecutively by Queens Wilhelmina, Juliana and Beatrix? St Anne's Parsons. The Netherlands. The Netherlands is correct. You get a set of bonuses now on the colour purple. What British company applied for a trademark in 2004 to use the colour purple Pantone 2685C for its products? Cabris. 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 That sounds right. Cabris. Correct. Name either of the two present-day countries that have purple on their national flags. One depicts a Cicero parrot, the other a small rainbow. Which country would have a parrot? Come on. Dominican so, Republic? Equi that was okay. an answer in the last round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, Fiji. No, it's Dominica and Nicaragua. Oh. In tennis, the Wimbledon Championship official colours are purple and what other? Green. green. White and green, isn't it? That's, that's green, green, purple and green. green. Okay, green. Green is correct. Ten points for this. The US physician Mary Jean Creek, who died in 2021, Pioneered the use of what man-made opioid given orally once a day on a long-term basis as a substitute drug? So that's Parsons. Methadone? Methadone is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on technical terms. In each case, give the word from the description. I want you to give me three answers which all begin with the same three letters. In medicine, inflammation of the brain, an epidemic form of this condition known as Japanese is... <laughs> Only one. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That means you're going to have to come back. <laughs> well, Corpus, you can hear a great sigh of relief and poll out on 130 points, which is a very respectable score, and you led much of the way. So thank you very much, both teams, for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another of the heats. But until then, it's goodbye from Corpus Christi College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Oh, bye -bye. It's goodbye from St Anne's College, Oxford. Goodbye. <laughs> And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>